the Philadelphia 76ers all-time leading scorer, Hal Greer was known for his deadly jump shot and consistency. An all-star game most valuable player, Greer was a key member of the 76ers team that won it all in 1967. Number 15, Hal Greer. Hal Greer was uh, certainly a, a mid-court scorer who was quick uh, and got to the spots and got to his spots, which was normally top of the circle and in. Greer on the right, 15 feet, a jumper, good! Hal Greer, I think, is one of the best middle distance jump shooters in the history of the game of basketball. He was just a great middle court scorer and could handle the ball well, but mainly they wanted him to score. You know, it was funny uh, watching Hal out there. We knew that when he got the ball, if he was anywhere near that foul line, top of the circle or foul line area in, it, there was no need in getting ready to rebound because this man was really accurate. Hal, he started out in Syracuse and the team moved to Philadelphia and he moved with them and he played in Syracuse and Philadelphia, I think, his whole career. Hal Greer pops one, then he hits. But I think I remember most about thinking of him was watching him shoot free throws because he had a very unusual style. He would he would go up and shoot a jump shot at the free throw line. Hal Greer with that little jump from the foul line. His theory is when he takes a foul shot, he's practicing his jump shot and vice versa. And that was uh, something that I, I'm nobody else that I knew of did that. Everybody planted their feet and got their balance and went ahead and shot their free throw. And uh, Hal was different than that. And uh, he was extremely effective, a very talented basketball player. Hal Greer, the only guy I know that shot a jump shot from the free throw line. Pretty unbelievable. But again, another guy that very, very good shooter from mid-range, uh, exceptional offensive player. Now to Greer, top of the key, jump shot, 15, good! Greer hits! I remember him and, you know, he hurt us and had a great series when we lost to the 76ers in 1967 in six games in the finals. And certainly Hal was an important part of the success of that team. Hal Greer uh, doesn't get the recognition because a lot of our games weren't live on TV. They were delayed. Kerr passes off to Greer, and Hal goes in for two. Hal Greer could really score, uh, you know, and he was tough to guard because he could get that mid-range jump shot off. And uh, the thing was, he played in Syracuse. And, and, and when you talked about Syracuse, people didn't even know they were in the NBA, you know, except for the original teams uh, knew, of course, you know, he and guys like Dolph Shaves, you know. But Hal Greer, uh, I don't care who was guarding him, he was going to get his points. He was able to score because he stopped on a dime, pop up for the jump shot, and uh, was a prolific scorer. Sean, when you call someone the third best anything, that's normally not a compliment. But in the case of Hal Greer, why is being the third best guard considered high praise? Well, when you consider the two probably rated abo above him, Oscar Robinson and Jerry West, that is definitely high praise. Uh, no offense to Hal Greer. He was a terrific guard in the 60s, played well on both, both ends. Good defensive player, good offensive player. As a matter of fact, for those uh, very good Philadelphia 76ers team and the championship team that won in 1967, he was their leading scorer throughout the playoffs. C can you imagine being the leading scorer and in the finals on a team with Billy Cunningham and Wilt Chamberlain? Wilt Chamberlain is your teammate and you're the go-to guy on offense? It's amazing. So he had a very solid career. And when he retired, he held the NBA record for most games played. In addition to being good, he showed up every night. Very impressive. He also had a unique, in terms of today's game, free throw shot. Talk about that. Well, he goes to the free throw line, takes a couple dribbles, and takes a jump shot. That's strange. Other than Rick Barry shooting underhand, he had the most unorthodox free throw shot, but it went in and it was successful for him. I learned so much from Hal. How did I learn from Hal? his practice habits, that he practiced the way he played. Um, he would start almost under the basket, shooting the basketball, and would back all the way up to the foul line. If you remember, Hal Grish had a jump shot at the foul line. And I found that that drill, little drill helped me so much in developing my jump shot 
because of watching a teammate and how he was like Jerry West shooting from 15 feet. There must be something from West Virginia, but they both were great 15, 17 foot jump shooters. And why? Because of the effort and the practice.